Hey guys, how you doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. Um, yeah, an article that I was um, that popped up on um, I'm actually on my Facebook feed today that I thought I'd just have a quick read through. It's only a very short article. Um, it's actually from the Sun, um, and I guess most of you guys are in the UK. But um, if you guys aren't in the UK, then the Sun is basically a tabloid newspaper. Um, it's not taken that seriously, but obviously it has news in that is obviously fact checked. It's, it's not like fake news. And um, it's particularly famous for, well, I don't think it does it anymore, but in the past it would have um, topless women on page three, and they would be called page three girls. But anyway, so that's the sun for us. Um, I, don't, I think that got a ban, though, um, you know, this crazy world we live in today. Um, anyway, so basically, let's just read through this. So it says, lights out, energy firms warn of blackouts, um, plunging coronavirus lockdown Brits into darkness. Right, so households have been told to keep torches and warm clothing nearby in case of blackouts during the virus lockdown. The warning comes as energy firms across the UK put on a pause on non-essential work in line with the latest government advice. In a letter to customers seen by the Daily Tele Telegraph, UK Power Networks um, is advising households on how to stay warm in the event of a blackout. The advice includes keeping a torch handy as well as dressing warmly in several layers including hats gloves and blankets homes are also told to keep their doors closed in unused room to help reduce heat loss the letter adds it is especially important to keep warm if you're unwell less mobile or very young um, uk power networks which owns the um, owns and maintains the electrical cables um, to three million homes in the southwest and east of england and london has written to the homes of its vulnerable register and um, this includes pensioners and those with children under five in the house and people with disabilities and chronic illnesses it is likely to be concerning news for households who have stocked up on frozen food in recent weeks um, during the virus epidemic yeah that's def definitely is the case I, I was wondering about this about whether we could potentially if, if it did drag on um, we could we could we get power cuts and then could that frozen food would be able to microwave food would be able to do you know what I mean oven food if you've got an electric oven like just because I was trying to think what sort of food I did actually need I wasn't so bothered about the temperature because obviously it's spring now and it's getting warmer so I didn't perceive that as being a problem because I like if this drags on um, to the point where we're getting serious problems electricity goes out obviously the year will be dragging on um, so we will we'll probably be getting into summer by then so heating doesn't go on then anyway but but for vulnerable people though they, they may need the heating on uh, but yeah anyway so in an update to customers on its website UK Power Network says it's continuing all essential work including fixing electrical faults but it's postponing lower priority work on electrical cables and substations I guess that's where it means that you could have cuts if work isn't maintained on those so Ofgem, the government regulator for the gas and electricity market, has outlined essential works as maintaining heating and electricity to homes and keeping power in key institutions like the NHS. So yeah, I mean, obviously essential work is maintaining um, the heating and electricity in homes. So that is that just seemed a bit contrary to what they're saying. But I guess maybe the 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 work that um, is a lower priority. Uh, maybe that isn't necessarily going to likely to end up in a cut of uh, power to houses but I mean I guess it it carries a lower likelihood of uh, which is why it's maybe lower priority than other work um, but yeah so um, yeah so a spokesperson from UK Power Networks told The Sun we regularly contact customers um, on our priority services register to ensure we meet their needs um, and it is never more important than in the current circumstances um, this is to ensure we continue to provide them with the best possible support. Meanwhile, the National Grid, which covers the majority of Great Britain, says it has contingency plans um, in place to keep electric electricity working across the country during the virus outbreak. We've asked the company for more information on what that would involve and we'll an update um, on this article as soon as we know more. Um, David Smith, Chief Executive of the Energy Networks Association, um, said customers should be reassured that the network is currently operating exactly as it should. He added, we have one of the most reliable electricity networks in the world, supported by stringent contingency plans and a workforce of 3,600 people. We are keeping your energy flowing during the virus pandemic and the network is operating exactly as it should. Electricity Northwest and Western Power Distribution also say... Um, they are prepared to deal with blackouts, although they are currently only carrying out essential work. 
Um, the update um, from energy providers comes as it's announced that millions of families are set to get a pause on their energy bills if they are struggling financially. Companies who have already offered extra help include British Gas ED and EDF Energy. I'm with, I, I'm, I'm with EDF Energy. Um, if you are on a prepayment meter and in self-isolation, some providers are also posting out with preloaded keys um, um, with cards and credit to homes by post. Um, we've also rounded up how you can get help paying your rent and bills during the virus outbreak. Um, see our rents, yeah, so there's just some extra information there. Um, but yeah, so it's interesting to see that um, they are they are maybe potentially either, either warning or prepping us. Um, I mean, we'll just have to see how long it actually goes on for. That's um, that's all I can say. I mean, the longer it goes on, obviously the more problems we're going to have just with whole general infrastructure, full stop, supply chains, just everything um, that isn't getting maintained. <clears throat> um, even if they're not, if it's a low priority work that they're not doing, that will obviously still cause issues um, if it's left um, long enough. So yeah, something to bear in mind, guys. Um, yeah, maybe <clears throat> maybe have other plans other than just a freezer full of um, microwave meals because without electricity, um, you're going to be a bit screwed. Anyway, so thanks for listening, guys. I've got more videos coming soon and I'll speak to you later.